Hey everybody, welcome back to Whiteboard Finance. My name is Marco and I'm here to help you master your money and build your wealth. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the three fund portfolio, AKA the lazy portfolio. So this is simply just a very popular low maintenance way to structure an investment portfolio, whether it's for a retirement account or for a taxable account or just general investing, if you will. Um, so basically, I wanted to ask you before I get into this video, when was the last time that you either rebalanced or created some sort of structure or strategy for your investment portfolio? Are you simply just picking random stocks because you're familiar with the brands? Uh, you wear Nike running shoes, so you buy Nike stock. You have an Apple iPhone, so you buy Apple stock. Um, that's probably not the best long-term strategy in terms of investing. Uh, I'm not saying it's bad, but I probably wouldn't recommend that for long-term. So in this video, we're actually gonna talk about what the three fund portfolio is, the benefits of a three fund portfolio, how to actually build one, and then finally, as always, my thoughts at the end of the video. Stay tuned. Okay, so what is the three fund portfolio? So very simply put, it is a portfolio comprised of three different asset classes. You have US stocks, US bonds, and international stocks. So you're probably wondering to yourself, hey Marco, so all I need to do is buy uh, you know, Nike, a US bond, and some international stock, and I have a three fund portfolio, right? I'm doing this the right way, right? Uh, unfortunately, no, you're not, <laughs> because this very specifically invests in three index funds. So this is, is low cost index funds. So if you don't know what an index fund is, it's essentially a basket of stocks that tracks or mimics an index. So for example, we're gonna be tracking US stocks, US bonds, and international stocks using these three index funds, which I'll explain later in the video. The beauty of this is that it provides great diversification while matching the overall market returns historically. And then it also prevents you from making emotional or stupid trading mistakes because you see some high flying tech stock that your neighbor's getting rich off of. This is a more balanced long-term approach. But there is nothing wrong about getting rich off of a high flying tech stock, but that's not the conversation of this video. So with that being said, now that you know what makes up this portfolio, let's talk about the benefits and then we're going to actually teach you how to build one of these things. Okay, so what are some benefits of the three fund portfolio? So we have three major ones and potentially a bonus one, which I'll get to. Number one is what I just mentioned, diversification. So the typical three fund portfolio, depending on what these index funds track or what they hold, is you're typically gonna be holding 11,000 plus different stocks. So the reason is because the two funds that I'm gonna tell you about after we actually create one of these things actually hold typically 11,000 plus different stocks. Now, number two is the super low fees. Since we are using index funds, um, I'm gonna be talking about Vanguard index funds specifically. They have super, super low expense ratios. Expense ratios is just a fancy financial term for fees, uh, meaning that you would typically pay a financial advisor 1% per year on the assets under management. With this, you're probably gonna be in the neighborhood of 0.03% per year. That's a 97 basis point difference. And then number three, you have easy rebalancing or easy maintenance. So once we establish the different criteria of how much we wanna have in terms of US stocks, US bonds, and international stocks, um, you can actually easily rebalance that number or wait to get back to what your allocation goals are. So it's really easy to do that. And then finally, the bonus one is that it's really easy to monitor, understand, and maintain. So without further ado, let's get into, did you catch that without further ado? Uh, let's get into actually how to create one of these things. Okay, so how do you build a three fund portfolio? This is the entire point of the video. So you're probably looking at the whiteboard right now with a bunch of different numbers and letters and all this stuff scroll, uh, scrawled across the board. You're probably getting intimidated. Uh, trust me, this is not that complicated. Let me explain. So the number one caveat to investing is understanding what your strategy is. What, is, what are your priorities? What are your goals? Why are you even investing? So typically the main factors is your age, the time frame in which you wanna invest, and also the amount of risk you wanna take on, okay? So if you're someone who's 20 years old and you have a ton of time and you're very, you have a big appetite for risk, you may go 100% stocks in your portfolio and you're gonna forget about the bonds completely. Uh, that defeats the point of a three fund portfolio. However, I'm just using that as an example. If you're someone in midlife, you wanna be a little bit more moderate. If you're someone who's older in life, you don't have that much time left on earth, uh, it may make sense to be a little bit more conservative with more bonds. So there's typically three portfolios here. We have an 80-20, which means 80% is stocks, 20% is bonds. 
We have an equal three fund, which is 33, 33, 33. Remember, we have U.S. international and U.S. bonds. Uh, and then we have a 20, 80, which is 20% stocks, 80% bonds. That's definitely the most conservative out of all these three. A simple rule of thumb is to take the number 110 minus your age, okay? So if you're 20 years old, 110 minus 20 is 90. 90% 90 of your portfolio should be in stocks or equities, okay? That is a fair metric or a, at least a good starting point. So basically what we have here is, is that I always told you that in this video, I'm gonna tell you exactly what funds you know, comprise of this three fund portfolio. It's the ones that are low cost index funds. So what are some examples? So I'm gonna give you a mutual fund. Uh, these are all Vanguard products, but there's Schwab equivalents, there's uh, Fidelity equivalents. You, know, you can figure this out on your own. I'm using Vanguard as an example because they have super low funds and they've performed pretty well over time. So for the U.S. stocks, we would use either VT Sax, like uh, S-A-X, like saxophone, or VTI. So VT Sax is the fund, VTI is the ETF, okay? For international stocks, we would use VTIAX or VXUS. And then for U.S. bonds, we would use VBTLX or BND, the ETF equivalent. So what you do is you basically... Um, I don't want to erase all this because it took forever to write, but if you picture a pie, like an M1 Finance, that's why I recommend M1 Finance for beginners. It's super easy to set up. Uh, check out my free training down below if you haven't already. If you picture a pie and you want to do an 80-20 portfolio, so let me just carve out what's like 20, let's pretend that's 20%, that would be U.S. bonds. So this would be BND, makes sense? And then you would do something like a split of between the U.S. stocks and also the international stocks. Um, so, for example, if I want to use the 80-20, 64% of this portfolio, let me just take like this slice right here, just pretend this is 64, would actually go to the U.S. stocks. So let's use VTI, for example. And then finally, this third piece, that would be the international stocks, which you can use VX US, and there you go, you have 100% of a pie. The reason I like M1 Finance is because the entire premise of the product is a pie. So you can easily go into your weights, put in 64% uh, VTI, uh, whatever the 16% VX US, and then 20% bond, and there you go, you have an 80 20 portfolio, for example. Understood? Okay, as always, I end my videos with my thoughts. These are my three thoughts um, based on the three fund portfolio, okay? So I think that less is more. This is a great way for beginners to start because it's not intimidating and it has all the benefits that I mentioned in the video. It's low maintenance, it's easily rebalanced. You're not checking a million different individual stocks and you know literally refreshing Robinhood every two seconds. Uh, if you want a free stock, check out the Robinhood link down below. But um, I'm just proving a point that you know if you do these three funds, you don't necessarily have to live in the markets. You can kind of just set it and forget it and rebalance it maybe once every six months, okay? Number two, bond yields are historically low. Bond yields are very low right now. So the traditional 60-40 portfolio, 60% 60 stocks, 40% bonds, that's called the risk parity portfolio, that has done well since basically the 70s or 80s up until now. However, bond yields are incredibly low. Uh, that's a conversation for macroeconomics, which I'm not gonna talk about in this video. However, the returns or having a portion of your portfolio in bonds may not provide the yields like it used to. Um, so that's something to be cognizant of. Bond yields are low, so be aware of that. And then finally, um, this is a great start for anyone who wants to get started. Investing is inherently intimidating. Uh, this is one of the easiest ways to actually create and structure a proper portfolio uh, without YOLOing your entire <laughs> account on chicken tendies and Tesla puts, okay? Uh, so <laughs> this, is a, this is a great way to get started. Uh, as always, these videos take a lot of time and effort to make. Please share the video. Please hit the like button. Please subscribe and hit the bell if you haven't already. Share it on Facebook and Twitter. Check out the links down below if you want free training and if you want to get started. Thank you so much and have a prosperous day. Three fun portfolio. This is my three fun portfolio. Here we go. You ready? It's going to be a little bit of... Nikola right here, a little bit of Tesla right here, and then we're going to have Microsoft naked puts. Let's go, baby. YOLO portfolio. <laughs>